What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for this NFL Super Bowl showdown. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. So this will be the last NFL video for the season, but if you like playing Daily Fantasy, we do NBA DFS videos every day and we'll be doing MLB DFS videos every day when the season starts. So please subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification so you get notified when we post our new content. And if you stay to the very end after all my picks and after I show you the draft dashboard tools, I'll give you my super secret sleeper pick that no one's talking about. Okay, let's take a look at the quarterback position. I like Tom Brady from the New England Patriots playing the LA Rams who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're also middle of the pack defending opposing quarterbacks. Tom Brady has scored 19, 21, and 26 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 19.3 fantasy points per game on the season. I think the experience of Tom Brady plays a big factor in this game. That's why I'm willing to pay a little bit more for Tom Brady over Jared Goff. Even though Goff may have more weapons, Tom Brady has proved himself under pressure. That's something that Goff hasn't done. Jared Goff only scored 8 fantasy points versus the Cowboys, 4 versus the Bears, 10 versus the Lions, 8 versus the Broncos. He's had a lot of dud games and that makes me question his poise under pressure. So I'm taking the superstar experience and clutch performance of a proven Tom Brady over the newcomer Jared Goff. Real quick guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, who do we have at the running back position? I like Todd Gurley from the LA Rams playing the New England Patriots who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're also middle of the pack defending opposing running backs. Todd Gurley has scored 8 and 23 fantasy points in his last two games averaging 27.9 fantasy points per game on the season. He gets 5.8 targets per game and 18.3 rushes per game. So Todd Gurley had been recovering from injury and he was losing some rush attempts to CJ Anderson. I think that changes in the Super Bowl. Todd Gurley is the much more talented back. He's had plenty of time to get healthy. He's got major 40 point upside. I love Todd Gurley here in the Super Bowl showdown. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, let's take a look at the wide receiver position. I like Brandon Cooks for the LA Rams playing the New England Patriots who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they're also middle of the pack defending opposing wide receivers. Brandon Cooks has scored 21, 11, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games, averaging 16.1 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 7.3 targets per game. He got 8 targets last game. If the Rams have a chance to beat the Patriots, they're going to need a big game from Brandon Cooks. This guy's been giving you consistent production week to week, 6 to 9 targets per game. You know he's going to get a chance at one or two of those long balls in the end zone. I love Brandon Cooks here in this Super Bowl showdown. Okay, moving on to the tight end position. So if you're going to play a tight end, and you don't have to because in these single slate games you have the utility spots where you can play players from any position. But if you're going to play a tight end, it's got to be Rob Gronkowski from the New England Patriots playing the LA Rams who have a middle of the pack defense overall and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing tight ends. Rob Gronkowski has scored 14, 4, and 4 fantasy points in the last three games 
He averages 10.6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 5.5 targets per game. He got 11 targets last game, had that big 14 fantasy point night. He was super low salary and he's still low salary in this Super Bowl showdown slate. He's a risky play, but this could be his last game. So there's nothing to lose for Rob Gronkowski. He's not going to worry about injury. If he gets more than six targets, then watch out. I love Rob Gronkowski here in this Super Bowl showdown slate. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. You've unlocked the bonus content. My super secret sleeper pick for this Super Bowl showdown slate is Chris Hogan from the New England Patriots playing the LA Rams who have a middle of the pack defense overall but they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing wide receivers. Chris Hogan has scored 10, 4, and 12 fantasy points in his last three games, averaging 6.6 .6 fantasy points per game on the season in an average of 3.4 targets per game. But look at his last three games, seven targets, five targets, 11 targets. Chris Hogan is much more involved. He's near minimum salary. He opens up a lot of salary for other players in your lineup. I love Chris Hogan as a low owned value play for this Super Bowl showdown slate. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this Super Bowl showdown slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.